these wheel weights here are a nice bright shiny chrome silvery color which i absolutely hate it stopped by walmart to get this krylon fusion All right, guys, this little uh, hack here is gonna make your black wheels look 10 times better when you're getting new wheels and tires. Um, as you know, my wheels are black and these wheel weights here are a nice, bright, shiny, chrome, silvery color, which I absolutely hate. It is an eyesore to look at inside of the wheel when it is spinning going down the road. So the Nitto NT05R tires are done, guys. We are getting new tires either today or tomorrow. So I went down to my local discount tire, spoke to my buddy Jaime. He hooked me up with uh, some of these wheel weights, stopped by Walmart to get this Krylon Fusion. This is a gloss black. Um, I think this was like four bucks. So we are going to take this can just put a little bit of paint on these and once they are dried and cured up we can take these with us down to discount tire and when they are mounting the new tires we can put these black ones on the car so that way they are balanced and everything looks black and beautiful guys so let's break out the can put a little paint and get these babies ready to rock all right guys so this uh, Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint primer says no runs no trips no uh airs so i uh, haven't painted in a really long time so we'll see how it goes guys let's shake it up real nice make sure everything's mixed oh yeah coming out pretty good guys not bad we'll let that uh give it one little coat here and then we'll come back and hit it with some more don't want to get too too crazy so this is coat one we'll probably do two or three just depending on how it goes uh, obviously we got to hit it on this side for this side so a few more coats and these babies will be gloss black ready to uh, put in these variant uh, gloss piano black wheels my friends okay this is gonna be coat number two Okay, let's do a third and this time I want to make sure I have all of the edges nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think all the edges are real nice and may just need one more coat to kind of fill in the silver letters and she'll be ready to uh, dry here, my friends. Okay guys, I think this is coat number four, I believe. Uh, but at this point, I'm just going to try and fill in the one half ounce um, you know in the middle looks like there's a little bit of silver showing in some so that is my goal on this uh, this uh, stage here so let's get it done
looks like there's maybe one more coat on some of them I uh, don't want to do it too too thick but it's looking pretty good here guys maybe one more coat and the uh, engravings should all be filled in here and they'll be ready to rock but they're looking pretty good all right guys these are pretty much ready to go as is I will probably hit it with one more light coat just to be safe um, to fill in these areas here but overall this paint did a really really good job again I'm not the most skilled spray painter there's a little clump uh, clumpiness here maybe a little heavy in some areas but this was the first spray and I mean I'm pretty pleased with this paint and how they look all the edges look really nice so we will just do one last uh, coat here and it says it's uh, dry to the touch in 20 minutes and handle in an hour so we will just let these sit in the sun for um, about an hour and hopefully the new wheels come in uh, today and we will take these down there to discount tire get the new wheels on the car and show you guys what these look like when they're sitting um, you know on a nice black wheel and why you should do this if you have a black wheel and not leave them that ugly nasty silvery color okay it is currently 11 uh, and some change and these things have been sitting out here for a few hours and let's see what kind of a, a job we did here the corners and edges seem to be all painted all the cracks and crevices are good to go so now we just uh, wait for the uh, tires to come on or to come in <coughs> And like I said, these will get placed in the uh, wheel well just like this. And you will have a nice weight that matches your black wheel and not a chrome silver eyesore that just looks terrible in my opinion on a all black wheel. And I mean, it costs $4 guys if you know the people um they have these at discount tire america's tire by the boxes guys <laughs> i don't think you're gonna have an issue if you explain to them hey look i want to get uh, a set of these to take home and paint them maybe you can paint them there uh you know but if you don't if they're being uh you know kind of don't want to give them up I'm sure you can buy these on Amazon, uh, online. They're just one fourth ounce uh, weights to, like I said, balance the wheel. And you can take these home, get yourself a black paint of your choice. We use the one from Walmart that you saw earlier in the video and you'll be ready to rock and roll guys. But like I said, if you have a black wheel this is definitely something that has to be done, whether you paint them yourself or you get them custom. I'm sure they have custom black ones by now. It is 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. But looks good, guys, and we are ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, the new Cooper Xeon RS3 G1 tires are on the car. I have the new painted wheel weights uh, sitting in there. But first, uh, let me get the car sitting right here because it's a little high for my taste. Um, but now that we are uh, nice and low, these tires actually lowered the car um, a few centimeters versus the 315s. These are 305, 35, uh, 20. But the, uh, the wheel weights are in here, guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to make this out very good. They are black. Um, don't mind the dirty wheel. There's brake dust everywhere. Gave it a quick little rub down, but I'm not going to sit here and clean this entire wheel for a 60 second video clip but these are the wheel weights that we just painted and as you can see once they're uh, painted on the car they basically become invisible 
which is a huge win in my book because one thing you don't want to have is chrome wheel weights on a nice black wheel it is just a huge eyesore and i mean it takes away from the blackness the whole look of the vehicle so as you saw a little bit of walmart spray paint and a few hours later these wheel weights are ready to go guys and they look damn good when they're um installed on the wheels sitting on the car especially if the rest of the car is black and i i did do this to the front wheel weights as well this is uh some old uh paint wheel weights uh, as you can see this wheel super dirty but the fronts i had painted uh you know months months ago when i installed these and it is a really really uh good uh, hack and something you can do at home it's super easy once the wheel weights are painted just bring them with you when you're going uh, to get your tires either rebalanced uh, mounted and they can slap them on there for you so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you liked it if it helped you be sure to give it a huge thumbs up Check the video description for all of our social media links and handles. Follow us there so you can stay up to date with all things HemiFam, guys. You will never miss uh, updates and future videos. Be sure you are subscribed to the channel. That way you don't miss uh, any future uploads. Turn on the bell for post notifications. And with all that being said, guys, we will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.